I'm Mackenzie. Hi, Jess. How are you? Good. I have a special guest. This is Nigel. He is so excited. Oh, my gosh. For That's four things to know. Can you do four things to know? Hello, little Nigel. So oh as you can God. tell, we are not filming together. We are in our respective homes, safely socially distancing. So on my part, if you see Nigel in and out or hear his little paw prints, that's what it is. I love it. I love all these like added details we're going to have for this new episode of Four Things to Know. <laughs> yes. And I'm excited because it's been a while and I've missed you, Mackenzie. I miss you. This product, I've only used it once. So I have a lot to learn. I cannot wait to kind of dive in and answer the four things we need to know. So what does it do? Why is it so effective? Who's it for and how to use it? I need all of that, all of that info. Today, what we're going to focus on is our brand new addition to the Biosense family, which is the Squalane Plus Elderberry Jelly Cleanser. Let me come in nice and close. It's a cleanser. That's number one, right? Yep. Amazing. Part of the skincare routine, probably one of the most important steps is a good cleansing routine. Like you should go for something that actually has an amazing formula that can give you a lot of treatment benefits. So this is basically a treatment cleanser. Oh, I'm excited. So I've only used it once. Okay. I love the texture about it. I know it's supposed to be great for taking off makeup, but if I'm honest, the only time I've worn makeup in certain places for this video. So yesterday I was not wearing makeup when I tried it, but it still felt amazing and kind of like got my skin all nice and clean. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, okay, I have been wearing makeup very infrequently, but whether you wear makeup or not, this is a really good cleanser. I want to show you this amazing texture. It's called Elderberry Jelly Cleanser, and it has this awesome color. Jess, did you know it was going to be purple? Okay, so I knew it was going to be purple. Like, I had heard of that it was going to be purple, and it's like a natural color, too, right? There's no dyes. And when I squeezed it out, I thought, like, it was a joke. I couldn't believe how purple it was. Like, I didn't think it was real. I love it. Exactly. And that's actually from the elderberry extract. So this is a cleanser that is a gentle, effective cleanser for all skin types that completely removes all traces of pollution, dirt, debris, makeup. But... There's an added dose of wellness to this because there's a healthy amount of antioxidants from elderberry, mm -hmm. great protect against free radicals. And then you have um, a prebiotic complex, which is really important to help strengthen and balance your microbiome. So, okay, wait, so in a nutshell, <laughs> this is a cleanser that cleanses your skin, but improves your skin wellness. Okay, so two things, right? Elderberry is super hot right now. Because like I spray elderberry like when I think I'm getting a cold or things like that. So I've never thought about it on my skin. You mentioned prebiotic and I know we have a probiotic moisturizer. So you're going to need to like go into more details about both of those things for me. Absolutely. So I think we're moving into the second question territory yes. here, which is why is it unique and why is it effective? Mm -hmm. And that's because of these amazing ingredients. So let's break down the ingredients okay. and then we'll break down the unique texture. I love the texture. I'm going to like play with it while you explain it to me. <laughs> I don't know if this is satisfying to anyone else, but I really, really love playing with this. She's a thick cleanser. <laughs> She's <laughs> thick and very satisfying. When we're breaking down the ingredients, the antioxidant elderberry has been well known for immune boosting properties and been studied for many, many years, if not centuries. Mm -hmm. right? And you can see using it on your skin is important, especially in a time right now where our skin is the first line of defense. So even ingesting um, elderberry and antioxidants is great, but you can also topically apply them and still get a benefit from them. Got it. So it's kind of like helping protect my skin, not just clean it. Especially protecting you from free radicals, which we're all exposed to every single day. And they can basically begin an aging process that will just make your skin dull. And your collagen can start breaking down. So you definitely don't want free radicals. You want antioxidants. Now, the next question you had about the prebiotic complex. In here. Yes. So the prebiotic complex actually helps to balance your microbiome. We have a okay. lot of words we can break down. First, let's break down microbiome. Mm -hmm. We each have an individual microbiome on our skin. We also have one in our gut, right? Mm -hmm. The one on our skin is kind of like your own personal Amazonian rainforest. There's lots of different things that exist in the microbiome. Fungi, good bacteria. It's all dependent upon every experience of our environment from the moment we're born. What we do know 
is that the microbiome on our skin helps to protect us from all the bad, the invaders, the dirt, the debris, the excess bacteria. If it becomes out of balance, you can see your skin with rashes, irritation, dryness, excess oil, anything that's not normal can be sometimes a cause of an unbalanced microbiome. That makes sense. So it's like little protector on our face, making sure like our skin is healthy and like looking good, like most importantly healthy actually right now. Yeah. With my skincare routine and wearing less makeup, I've been able to see my skin a lot more. And for me, a healthier skin also means like a great looking skin. And another way I can sort of speak to this is pH, Uh pH of your skin. So pH stands for the potential of hydrogen. And basically we're talking on a scale of zero to 14, acidity to alkalinity. You want your skin to be a little more acidic than it is alkaline. The slightly acidic will kill off bad bacteria. A healthy microbiome is a healthy pH of the skin. So one thing I noticed when I washed my face with this, I feel like it's helping restore pH and like a healthy microbiome, but it's not stripping my skin of everything else it wants and needs. Completely right. This is a non-drying, non-stripping cleanser. We actually at Biosense have a very unique ingredient. If I had an audience and poll all of you watching right now, I'd be like, what is Biosense known for? <laughs> you get a car, you get a car. No. <laughs> Swaylane is derived from sugarcane. Biosense uses it in every single product. Mm-hmm. And sugarcane derived Swaylane is so lightweight and really quickly gives the skin the moisture it needs. But the other unique aspect in here is the partner of hemisqualane. So hemisqualane is another ingredient that we make that is even lighter than squalane itself and gives this amazing cleanser the ability to melt off all dirt, debris, and makeup with a clean, rinsed feeling and not a stripped, my skin is tight, my skin is like calling out for help. (laughs) So, okay, so now that we know what makes this product so unique, who should be using it? Ah, that's an easy answer. (laughs) Everyone. So from like sensitive to oily, everyone in between should be using this. Completely. What kind of skin do you have? I have sensitive skin, very sensitive. It's weird. I get like dry patches, but then I also have like pores and shininess. So I don't know what kind of skin I have. Right, anything goes now. (laughs) Well, I have normal to dry skin. I don't really have super oily skin, but I love this cleanser. Somebody who is on the normal to dry, even sensitive side can absolutely use this all the way up to normal combo acneic prone skin because this is going to remove everything you want it to remove and replenish everything you want it to replenish and nourish. The best part about this is that it has quite a nice natural scent, wouldn't you say? Like, Uh, I would say it's like, almost fragrance free. It is actually com- yeah. completely fragrance free. So there's no added fragrance. Yeah. Like I took the whole cap off and I'm sticking it like close to my nose. Yeah. I can't really smell anything. And you almost kind of feel like you get elderberry or something like that. I don't know. Well, I would say that these ingredients actually smell fresh. What? Yeah. For me, what I noticed for my sensitive skin, fragrance necessarily isn't always a trigger, but actually dye and color can be. So I love mm-hmm. that Instagram, like one well, color is natural and it's not like an artificial dye that's been added. Three of our four questions, the one everyone's been dying to know is kind of how do you use it? This one takes you on a texture journey. And I, (laughs) here's the thing, you should enjoy using your cleanser. You should want to spend some time with the cleanser and enjoy that part of the routine. The best way to actually show this in use is to show you with like a demo. So I have some lipstick here. Do you by chance have any? Uh, I do. And it's very colored. Beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to put a little bit of my lip product on right here so I can really show you how it works. But the best way to use this cleanser, again, all skin types can use this, but the best way I think to use it is applying it on dry skin. We're going to start with the jelly and then we're going to massage it into our skin on our faces, even on the eyes, and it transforms into a makeup removing oil. Okay. Right? Amazing. Let's do it. Let's try. Here we go. This is my first time using it on makeup, so I'm excited. Oh, good. Okay. Apply it on. Oh, look. Ooh, okay, let's do it. This is a stain that I wear that I will wake up the next morning and um, have the stain on kind of thing. That's the same for me. This liquid lipstick, like when I wear liquid lipstick, it stays on forever. Good, okay, so see how it's melted down to this gorgeous silky oil? This is everything you want from a makeup removing balm, but we're going to add water now. It's going to sort of turn into a milk 
and it's going to rinse completely clean like everything you love about your foaming cleansers right so let's add some water okay I have a little bowl down here. All right, well, maybe you can demo more because I'm going to drip all over my computer. Okay. It's pretty milky. Like, you can kind of see. Dude, there we go. See? It's totally oh, water. My skin feels hydrated. Mm-hmm. Like, it feels very soft. And that was so easy to take that liquid lipstick off. My, my towel is pink now from that lipstick. And that's what I want. I do want to yeah. remove it off. Imagine if you have a cleanser that can actually remove a hard-to-remove lip stain or, or makeup, then you know that it's doing something great for your skin as well. We're moving things that don't belong, but then you're left so nourished and that skin wellness really comes into play with this cleanser. So this could be your one and done cleanser, but mm -hmm. if you want to double cleanse, you could use this as your first step in the double cleansing routine. So it was either one and done or kind of your first step if you like a double cleanse. Exactly, because it's a makeup remover as well as a effective cleansing balm, like jelly to oil to milk. Do I only want to use it at night then as I'm taking off like the day or can I use it in the morning? You can absolutely use this morning and night. So mm -hmm. I've been working out in the morning and- Good for you. Good job. <laughs> after I work out in the morning when I'm super sweaty and gross, I'll put this cleanser on before I get in the shower and I'll let it do its job, do its thing for a second. And when I get in the shower, that's when I massage it and add water and remove. Sort of a great way to start my day but I always use this in the evening, especially if I've been outside wearing a mask all day. I want to take that mask off and really replenish my skin's microbiome. Yeah, I think that's one thing like we haven't been realizing is we're still tough on our skin, right? Even though we're at home more, we're not seeing people as much anymore, but wearing a mask all day. So it's nice that we have this new cleanser to kind of rebalance and make sure everything's working the way it should. So I really hope everybody enjoyed watching this, our new four things to know on the Squalane Plus Elderberry Jelly Cleanser. Hopefully this was helpful. Jess, was it helpful for you? It was super helpful for me because I didn't know a lot of it. Well, it was good to see your face. Like, I know I missed you. It's good even seeing you virtually. Well, we hope all of you watching this video are staying safe, being healthy, and we'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.